Hello, my name is Simonaz and welcome to another Simonaz Guide video. Today I'm going to be telling you how to get your UI, add-ons, and weak ores all set up just like you see in my videos. And to do that, we're going to set up the whole UI on a brand new, fresh character so you can see every step to get it all set up just like I have, which actually isn't even that difficult. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right to it. Here we are on a fresh level one character in North Shire Valley. And the first thing we're going to do is configure some of the game options. So you hit escape, go to options, and we're going to have auto loot enabled. Then we're going to go to the interface and we're going to make sure we're always showing enemy unit nameplates. Then we're going to go to the raid frames and we're going to make sure we use raid style party frames, keep groups together, power bars, class colors, don't want the main tank and assist, don't want the border. We can adjust the size of them here if we want to. Then we're going to go to the action bars, get all my action bars available. They're not going to pop up until I actually keybind something onto them, so don't worry about that. Now this friendly dwarf Gigan has grouped up with us and our party interface has popped up right over here, but I don't want it over there, so I'm going to click this, click unlock, I'm going to move it all the way over to the right, and that's where I like having it. If we wanted to resize it, we could, but I like that, so we'll just hit lock and then we're good. Next, I wanna set up my target frames. I wanna move them closer to the middle of the screen instead of being off in the corner like they are here. So I'll right click my character portrait, go to unlock frame, and then I can left click and drag right towards the middle where I like having it. And the same thing with the other one. Move frame, unlock frame, and move it over there. And then we'll adjust them a little bit more later because the next thing we're going to do is add in our weak auras. And to get weak auras in, first we need the weak aura add-on, which I already have installed, but you can install yourself. I'm just going to enable it right here. And then reload the UI. Now for the weak auras, we don't have any weak auras imported by default. You have to import them. And you can get all the weak auras and all the add-ons I use on my discord and that's linked in the description of every video you can see down here if you read the description it says rotation advice as well as all ads and weak ores used in this video on the discord so let's click the discord link and that takes you to the index channel on the simonized show discord which is the main hub that links you to a lot of the other resources and information on the discord we can go to the top of the channel, say Wrath of Lich King stuff here, Season of Discovery stuff here, okay. Season of Discovery add-ons and weak ores in the Season of Discovery add-ons and weak ores channel. You can find that on the side also under Season of Discovery resources. Now the weak ores are grouped into two types. Uh, we have the general weak aura pack and then we have a class specific pack for each class that I play. So if we're rogue, we want the general pack and the rogue pack. So let's click that right there. Follow this link. We're going to copy the import string. Go back over here. Paste that in. Import. All good. Now we go back to the Discord. Rogue pack. Copy the import string. Back over here. Import. Paste import and then we're good now my health bar isn't exactly where i want it to be the health bar is actually a weak aura that just overlays on top of the unit frame so let's adjust the unit frame to be just like that and now i'll right click and lock the frame in position and we'll move this frame down a little bit too just like that and lock that one now we've got all the weak auras installed that we need, but there are a couple more add-ons that I like to use that make the gameplay experience a little better. Again, you can find those all listed on the Discord and what I use them for. We have the add-on list right below the weak auras. Auctionator helps me with listing auctions. LFG Bulletin Board helps me browse the LFG chat, which can often be spammed quite a bit. This is a little bit easier to read with the way the add-on organizes it. Item Rack helps me to organize and save gear sets and quickly swap between them, but 
I often don't need that in Season of Discovery. Nova World Buffs helps track the progress of the Ashenvale PvP event and also helps identify which layer you're on, which is especially useful if you're on a server that frequently has a large number of layers. Nug Key Feedback displays what buttons I'm pressing. And many viewers mistake this, uh, thinking that it's a display telling me what to do next. It's not that, it's for you guys to be able to see what I am doing. Plater is a nice nameplate add-on that makes the enemy nameplates look much nicer and also color codes them based on if I have threat or I'm about to pull threat. I really like the look of this and it attaches a nice looking cast bar to them as well. Details is what I use for a damage meter. Threat Classic 2 is my threat meter. Questy is really helpful with showing the locations of quest objectives on my map, so it's quick and easy to know where I need to go. And finally, Deadly Boss Mods is a good add-on to give timers and warnings for different boss abilities in dungeons and raids. However, with the current state of the Black Fathom Deep's raid, I don't feel like this is necessary. So it's another one where I might use it in the future, but don't currently use it right now. Then we're going to open the configuration for Threat Classic 2, and there are a couple options we want to go through here to make it look nicer. And this is the main thing I want to change. I want to enable custom player color, custom active tank color, custom other unit color. So my threat will always be red, the top threat will always be green, and everyone else will always be gray. And this makes it really easy to see at a glance without even looking closely at the window how the threat uh, looks. And that's it. Pretty much all the other add-on settings, I just use the default loadout that it comes with, and I don't toggle with too much. I like how my UI is. I think it's pretty clean and simple. I like having a really minimal number of add-ons, weak auras, and UI elements just to tell me what's essential information, and I don't need a display for every little tiny detail that could possibly be displayed, or every possible simplification of a process that could be simplified. I hope you liked this video, and I hope it made it easy for you to understand how to set up the UI just like you see in my videos. If you want to see more World of Warcraft content from me, don't forget to drop a subscription on the channel. And if you want to come by and see me live, the link to my live Twitch stream is in the description of the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having fun in Season of Discovery, and I hope you have a great day.